I'm Rita Barrenwall, Assistant Secretary for Nuclear Energy in the United States Department of Energy. I work in Washington, D.C., and my program is responsible for research and development of nuclear energy technologies that sustain the existing reactor fleet in the United States, as well as develop new technologies such as advanced reactors for deployment in the United States and across the globe. What got you started in STEM? I was interested in science very early on. I like to do small experiments at home, um, and I very much enjoyed assembling things and disassembling things. My earliest memory is of us bringing home a new bookshelf, and I was so excited to put it together without using the instructions. What did you like to do when you were younger? Um, I like to play outside. My dad used to garden a lot, and so I liked helping him. Um, what was interesting, even early on, he taught me how important it was to rotate crops when you do gardening year after year, and that had to do with testing the pH of the soil, um, making sure that the nutrients were evenly distributed throughout the garden. So those were some of the things I enjoyed doing when I was younger. What inspires you about your work? Why does your job matter? I'm very excited about what we do because it provides a very clean energy source to the world. In the United States, nuclear energy is responsible for 55% of this country's clean energy, although it only produces 20% of this country's electricity. So I'm very, very proud to be part of a sector that contributes to our clean energy economy. What's next for DOE? So in my department, in the Office of Nuclear Energy, we are in this fiscal year embarking on a new program called the Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program, wherein we are going to provide funding for companies that submit a proposal and win to demonstrate their advanced reactor concepts. It's very exciting. Why study STEM? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And there are many reasons to study STEM. One is that you get to be part of cutting edge of technology. There are so many different exciting areas where you can apply STEM skills. There are many different careers that you can pursue once you are done with studying your, your, your STEM area. For example, you can certainly go into engineering. You can become a teacher that uses these types of STEM skills. But you can also become a financial analyst. You can become a sports statistician. Um, all of these areas use the problem-solving skills that you are taught when you go into a STEM field. In addition, you can also make a substantial amount of money when you pursue a STEM career. These jobs are very, very nice paying jobs. Um, and I've read studies that in the future, about 75% of, of careers will require some sort of STEM skill. So um, it, it's a great area to go into. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like to read, I like to travel, and when I travel, I enjoy going scuba diving. What recommendations of activities, puzzles, and games do you have for students to learn about STEM? So there's lots of different things that you can do at home. Um, in our house, we like to play a lot of games and we do brain teasers and word puzzles, but also I brought out a few games that I wanted to share with you, and they include games like 24, which you can play by yourself or against another player. There's the card game called Set. If you've heard of Sudoku, there is a stepped up version called Color Coup that we enjoy playing. There's also other brain puzzles like Quadrillion, um, competitive timed games like Square Up, certainly the traditional jigsaw puzzle, and games that you can play with multiple players like brain games. What's your Twitter handle so people can ask any further questions? My Twitter handle is at DOE underscore NE1, and the Twitter handle for my office is at GOVNUCLEAR. Thank you. Bye.